Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Camp Ghoul Mountain Part 6, the official novelization by Jonathan Rabb. This is from Turn to Ash. Uh, publishing? Books? I don't know. Turn to Ash. Now we all remember the beloved 80s slasher franchise, Camp Ghoul Mountain. Eight movies, eight fantastic slasher movies. Well, you know, low-budget, beloved slasher movies. Nine, if you're going to count the really crappy 2003 remake. But eight. Eight great flicks. This is the novelization of Part 6. And, of course, we have the return of Henry the Horror and uh, Penny and Rhonda and some friends, they're going to be camp counselors at Camp Goose Lake. Uh, they're just there for two weeks for an Indian summer, two-week session at the camp. But, of course, Henry the Horror shows up and is slashing his way through young nubile flesh. Um, but uh, this particular movie added uh, some other elements. There's cultists and there's other some other weird things going on. But, uh, you know, it's it's... Your basic slasher movie. This is, as again, the official novelization. And I have read quite a few novelizations of movies. And uh, some of them are almost just straight descriptions of the movie. Um, you know, if you've seen the movie and then you read the novelization, same thing. Uh, obviously, the author has to describe how things look because you can't see them on the screen. But there's not a lot of flourishes or anything. Uh, some authors, you know, they get a shooting script or a script or whatever, something to work from. And uh, actually, I assume they all do. But some, uh, they use that script and the novelization will actually be slightly different than the movie. Because, you know, the book comes out before the movie hits screens and things have been changed in editing. Um, some authors really put a lot into it and add more depth to it. And that's the case with uh, Jonathan Robb here. Did I even say his name when I said what the title of the book was? Uh, Jonathan Robb had a script and a box of like behind-the-scenes materials and all this other stuff. So uh, this novelization really uh, goes deeper than just a retelling of the movie. Uh, it, it, it gets into the heads of the characters. It gets into um, really, I mean, just beyond basic descriptions. Uh, this actually feels like a novel that could have been turned into a movie, not just a novelization of a movie. Um, just very well written, really entertaining. If you're a fan of the Camp Ghoul Mountain series, you're going to love this novelization. Um and, you know, if, you, if you're a fan of slashers and you're not familiar with, with the Camp Ghoul Mountain series, you know, check this out. Maybe it'll get you to watch the movies. Now, that's the review I would give if this were a novelization of an actual movie. But, of course, there is no Camp Ghoul Mountain uh, slasher movie series from the 80s. There is no, thank goodness, crappy remake from 2003. And this is not just a straightforward fake novelization of a movie that doesn't exist. Um, while we have that, there's also there's a bunch of footnotes, so it's kind of like having an author's commentary. But in between the chapters that are novelizing the movie are chapters that would essentially, you could put them together as a its own little book about the making of the movie, the writing of the book, the history of the movie, and its director. Um, so this is a very, very meta kind of book. It's uh, and What's cool is you could actually just read the chapters that are scene one, scene two, scene three, etc. Just read the chapters that are a novelization of the movie, and you're reading a pretty good book. It's gonna, it's entertaining. You've got a great, cool, 
iconic 80s slasher killer in Henry the Horror. And we get his backstory, and we've got, you know, your typical uh, camp counselor characters, but they've got uh, at least the main ones have some depth to them. Uh, there's a lot of tropes. It feels like an 80s slasher movie. Um, so you could just read those parts and you're going to be entertained. But when you throw in the other stuff, you throw in the footnotes. And there's something like, so you're reading along and you read something that's happened in the movie. And then there's a little footnote and you go down and it'll say something about how, you know, the music swells at this point And the composer, Enrico, whoever it is, um, inserted a bit of Henry the Horror's theme into this blah, 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 blah. Uh, so footnotes like that, and it's really cool. And then, uh, um, and then there's things about because this movie uh, adds certain elements to the slasher genre, uh, cultists, uh, aliens, conspiracies, all this other stuff. There's there's notes. There's things about how this is sort of an outlier in the Camp Ghoul Mountain series, and they mention, I believe, uh, as examples, Jason Goes to Hell and Halloween 3? I'm not sure if that's the one. I feel like it's something else. But either way, they, they, they mention how the, even these other beloved franchises have these sort of outliers. I would have thrown in uh, Halloween 6, I believe it is, the one with Paul Rudd, because that brings in this cult element to the Michael Myers mythos. Say that three times fast. Um, so this, this, this Camp Ghoul Mountain Part 6 movie, the writer-director, uh, somebody Blackwood, whatever his name is, um, I'm going to say Monty, uh, tried to do his own thing, tried to have a message, which this all, all this behind the scenes stuff gets into it. Uh, so he did something different and it talks about the reception of this movie that doesn't quite fit in with the other up to that point five. And then there were going to be two more afterwards, uh, the reception of it and the, what they did after the theatrical release with home video and, other things, and we there's uh, an interview, uh, an excerpt from an interview with the writer director from a UFO convention, and there's uh, there's actually <laughs> actually um, uh, supplemental material, uh, the kind of stuff that was sent to the author of the book. Um, that came in the box of, of supplemental material that he was given. It's shared inside here in his behind the scenes stuff. And there's even weird stuff that goes on with the author and the, the author, the person who, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's, it's just weird talking about this, but the, the person who wrote this book, Jonathan Robb, weird stuff happened to him. Uh, the way he, was hired to do this novelization and some weird things that happened after he started writing this novelization and looking into it and investigating uh, alien abductions. And it's, it's incredibly meta. Um, and it, and it's fantastic. Uh, I, I feel like I'm talking extra fast. Uh, that's just because I'm so excited about this book. I'll tell you right now, I gave this thing five out of five on Goodreads. I think this book is fantastic. Uh, again, just the novelization part is entertaining. It's fun. It's, I mean, if you like slasher movies, if you like, uh, Freddie and Jason and Michael Myers, I'm not going to just name, I mean, those are the big three. I'm not going to sit here and just name every slasher franchise, but if you like that stuff, you're going to like the novelization part of this. And then if you want something that's deeper, something that, I mean, it gets into American politics and drug use and 9-11 and all this other crazy stuff, it's just fantastic. Um, and it's wild and it is not at all what I expected. Um, 
and it's got a great cover. You've got, uh, you can see Henry the Horror right there with his chainsaw, and he's right there, and you've got an alien abduction going on over there, and all sorts of craziness going on. Um, it's the, the, the movie, as we read the novelization, we see all of the tropes from slasher movies. The crazy old man warning the camp counselors, uh, the sex and drug use, and um, and it's just it's great fun. But there's other stuff going on as well, and it's man, it's it it blew my mind. It's fantastic. This book should be, um, I mean, the whole turn to ash is. I mean, I had to look to see. If Turn to Ash, if the editor or uh, publisher were actually real. Because uh, this is so meta. I could have seen this as um, having been self-published, not in a bad way, but or, or being put out by some other small press, but making it look like it was made by Turn to Ash. And it seems like they're a real thing. They have a website. There are things you can order on that website some of it said sold out uh you know i looked up the uh the publisher and he seems to be a real guy unless someone like went deep to make this look because because the way the publisher and everything is involved is super meta because i'm assuming this stuff didn't really happen uh when it comes to <laughs> the weirdness with the author and everything um i'm really digging jonathan robb uh, I recently read an issue of Dark Moon Digest put up by Perpetual Motion Machine Publishing. And he had a short story in there that was a uh, about a YouTube show. These guys teaching about hunting and stuff and the weirdness that went on with that. And that was really amazing. Uh, uh, just the way he, he's got a, a great style and does some really weird crazy spooky stuff uh so i'm definitely going to be looking more looking for more from jonathan robb and uh even though i mean turn to ash it's great that they put this out and hopefully uh anybody who watches this is going to go and buy a copy of this and read it and uh, that'll help out all the turn to ash people love small presses but i would love to see this book get a, a wider release I think it deserves it. It's not just some cheesy slasher movie novelization. It's it, it's much more than that. Um, I'm gushing. I don't care. This book blew me away from the cover to the inside illustrations and the writing and the story and the everything. It all just it fits together. It's fantastic. Uh I don't know what else to say about it. I think that, uh, that uh, if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what else will. Definitely going to look for more from this author. Um, so that's it. That's Camp Ghoul Mountain Part 6, the official novelization. And I say the whole thing because that's what it says on the side. Um, Jonathan Robb, Turn to Ash Books or Publishing or whatever it is. You got to check it out. It's it's so good. Uh, and of course, I will have a link for it in the description below. Uh, so if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. If you know anything about Turn to Ash or the uh, publisher whose name is Benjamin Holsapple. I mean, it just it sounds like a made up name. Benjamin Holsapple. I'm not sure how the hell you pronounce it. It's the word holes followed by the word apple. Um, so anyway, yeah, if you know anything about any of this, please, let's get in the comments below. Uh, we can talk spoilers, just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And that's it. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith, and until next time, read more books.